So you just received your first game PC in the mail, you're excited to unbox it, connect everything, and turn that bad boy on. Except nothing happens. Well, we're here to help. Now you'd be surprised about how many calls we get about customers saying my PC doesn't turn on or my PC showing a black screen. It's actually more common than you think. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to prepare your PC from start to finish so you can experience true PC gaming. Let's start with the unboxing. Pretty easy step. What you're gonna do is grab your box cutter or knife. We're gonna cut the top and bottom panels. Then we're gonna flip the box on its side so the PC can easily slide out. As you can see, the PC is protected by two durable foam with the accessory box. Everything you need will be in this box, so we'll put this off to the side for now. Now all you gotta do is slip off the foam, then we're gonna slide this cloth bag off. So now, this is what you're left with, just the PC. Now don't plug anything in just yet. What you wanna do now is carefully inspect everything for any type of shipping damage. And when you inspect the most important part of the PC, you'll notice a piece of foam in there. We do this to protect the internal parts from any type of shipping damage. Okay, so now let's remove this glass panel to get that foam inside out. And sometimes the screws will be located in the front like this, other times they'll be located back here. But all you gotta do is unscrew these and then pop the glass panel off. With the glass panel off, now we can get into the foam. Now sometimes this foam will get stuck on some of these parts, but all you gotta do is pull on it gently and it should come out easily. With the foam out, now you can see inside your PC and see if there's any type of damage. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. Now let's start connecting everything we need to the PC. Now, the very basics you'll need is the cable for your monitor, keyboard, and mice. Now, depending on your order, a lot of these won't be included with your PC. The only thing we do provide is the power cable for your PC, and this will be located in the accessory box, but we'll leave this one for last. One more thing, if you have anything else to connect like a headset, webcam, or external hard drive, Make sure you're using the proper USB connections to really take advantage of those speeds. Well, how do you know which USB to use? Well, generally USB 2.0, which is slower, is black colored, and USB 3.0, which is faster, is blue colored. But if you look at the back of the IO port on your motherboard, it will tell you the speed of the USBs. All right, so keyboard and mouse goes into USB 2.0, which will free up our faster USB slots. For your display cable, now this one's important. If you have a dedicated graphics card like this PC here, you won't plug this directly into the graphics card and not into the motherboard. We actually get a lot of calls about this, so I just want people to be aware to plug your monitor into the graphics card and not into the motherboard. So with everything connected, now we're ready for the power cable. And just to be safe, make sure your power supply is switched to the off position before plugging in the cable. Once you have your power cable plugged in, switch the power supply to the on position. And now we're ready to turn on the PC. Okay, so everything's looking good. Also keep in mind that some motherboards will do a power cycle where it'll turn on, off, and on again. Don't worry about that, that's totally normal. But once your PC boots into Windows, you're good to go. So keep in mind that all our systems come up to date with Windows and graphic drivers, everything's up to date. Sometimes there will be an update in between shipping and you receiving the PC, but that's pretty rare. Other than that, looks like you're ready to get into PC gaming. So there's a quick video on how to set up your digital storm PC. Hope this video helps you guys. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you.